Game on everyone and welcome back to a bit more of Frostpunk uh, with me. We already have a viewer this time around which is our lovely lovely Matthew Gorman. Uh, thank you so much for dropping by. Ooh, what happened? Matthew Gorman, you, you madman <laughs> just started to follow. Thank you so much for that man, you rock. You're, a, you're an awesome person for doing that, you know that? Thank you so much for that lovely lovely support. Um, yeah, so what were we doing? Uh, we are playing the arc scenario of Frostpunk. For those of you who don't know, that's where we have to protect these uh, arcs that contain seeds that we will need to use to, pl to replant the earth or bring plants back to the earth as soon as the Great Forest is gone. Um, so yeah, we have 12 days to prepare to the storm and... We need more food, we need more coal, we are gathering coal. What are we researching right now? Oh, coal mining optimization, yeah, that's good. That's more than good, that's great. Um, how are you doing today, Matthew Gorman? Um, I'm doing good, I think I'm, I've already said that. How's your weekend being so far? Uh, so yeah, <coughs> as usual, before... Before we unpause the game, let's do a check because we will have a couple of temperature drops in a couple of days and then another day after we'll have a, uh, another level of temperature drop. Let's see. Houses are doing okay-ish. Um, we will need to replace them, but we need to finish the research first, which is fine. Uh, which is more than fine. Uh, how are we doing? These two, these two guys are chilly, and these guys are livable. Uh, so if they're livable, just by turning this up a notch a little bit to steam level two, we should be able to keep the seeds running, right? That's that ta that takes care of the first temperature drop, because these guys will drop from livable to chilly, which is still fine. Remember, oh, whoopsie, nope, don't turn that on. Uh, remember, we need to keep these buildings at at least a chilly level. Uh, at least, at the very least, a chilly level, and we're doing that. We, we we're doing that. So, once temperature drops, these guys will drop back to chilly, uh, which is still fine. These guys would drop from chilly to cold, which would not be fine. But then again, we can up the generator up a level, and then these guys will will be back into that nice chilly state so that the seeds don't go away <laughs> uh, what else so yeah I think we're doing fine which probably means we aren't but uh, I can't see anything wrong with the current strategy so let's keep going we have people working here in the factory nope of course not it's not worth it it is not worth it, uh, and we're still building that last. Uh, oh, whoopsie! That storage. Oh, that has al already frozen. Okay. Damn, the storm is coming. Is coming. Slow, snow June. We probably need to get those guys, these scouts, out of there before they freeze to death. Those poor things. Morning. I'm English995. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for dropping by, my friend. How are you doing today? How is the weekend going? I saw that you streamed almost all day yesterday. <laughs> How did the stream go? So yeah, we need to be careful with the scouts. Oh, we also need to deal with these guys. Baron Hollow, that have reached the Baron Hollow. Let's see. A uh, distinct spot in the Frostland, we can use it as a waypoint for further exploration, okay? Our search hasn't un turn, uh, uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. Sites discovered. Snowy Hill Supply Depot. Carry on. Damn it. We were promised some... Um, some steam... Uh, steam cores. And still, so far, nothing. Okay, what do we got? This place is the only thing standing out in the endless white desert. A rusty shack. Nothing more can be seen from this distance. Okay. Jesus. Uh, keep going, I guess. Uh, two hours till you arrive there. Oh, and we are... We are having some guests in 15 minutes. 
Uh, but we do have enough houses for them, which is good. Which is always good. Morning. <laughs> Tell me a bad dad joke. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. So, uh, what concert costs just 45 cents? Uh, a 50 cent featuring Nickelback. But in <laughs> so yeah. Uh, you're welcome. Just relaxing today after doing the 24-hour war zone. Jesus, you were on for 24 hours. Jesus Christ, that must have been intense. <laughs> that must have been intense, my friend. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed that bad that joke, Matthew. Uh, yeah, you should rest. Rest. I am English. Um, that was very intense. I don't know how you people can do it. I can barely play games for three hours straight without getting a headache, let alone stream. Stream is even more demanding. Um, you guys are awesome. Uh, I don't think there's anything else for us to do aside from get the game rolling. Uh, how are we doing on coal consumption? We are doing great. And we ought to be doing even better as soon as the day starts. I really wish we could find one more steam core. <laughs> Alright, the survivor. You see that? New Manchester, a cry for help. Sir, an exhausted man has just reached our city, badly frostbitten and with a harrowing story to tell. He says he's come from a nearby city calling New Manchester. Uh, it's inhabited mostly by workers and their families, but their resources are running out and they're in trouble. Fearing the coming storm, they sent a scout team to look for help. He's the sole survivor. He begs us to help his people. Oh my god! We definitely need to help those poor guys. We must find out more. Expedition camp discovered. Finding the way. Uh, this is the way. Scout Frostland and find New Manchester before the storm. Oh wow. Okay, so we need even more scouts now. Saving the messenger. Captain, the man who arrived from New Manchester is in critical condition. If he doesn't get help right away, he'll die. He could be our only chance to learn more about the other city. Let's hope we can save him. Oh no! Oh no! We had... Ah! We don't have an infirmary! And we have no steam cores to build an infirmary. Ah! Uh, oh damn! Oh damn! 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 What are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about it? Oh damn! What is it? Gravely sick. Uh, we don't have anyone to spare. We had this facility, this city working optimally. Uh, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I did remember this was a valid strategy, but we can... Uh, we can destroy the factory for that extra steam core uh, and then use it to build to build the um, silver islander and then use it to build to build the um, uh, the infirmary uh, do we even can we even build an infirmary we cannot so oh, that guy's that guy's so dead that guy is so dead um yeah that guy that guy is so dead <laughs> that guy is so dead okay we will try to do it asap but uh you know how this goes um we might need to ah uh, we might need to build a care house in the meanwhile let's build a care house sustain life 
This content will rise slightly, will not be treated and remain a burden. Uh, none can be passed in 18 hours. Yeah, let's sustain life. Uh, in medical post, the gravely ill. Okay, yeah. Also, we don't even have to build a care house. He's, he's just gonna stay there. Hope rises. Do we have space in our medical facility? We do. Okay. Okay, good. Expedition camp discovered. Let's see what have we discovered. It's a small camp, just a few tents, no sign of activity. Hot ah, damn! We had the city running optimally. Ah, we doubt, we doubt these guys uh, ruining our party. We can just ignore them, but what's going on here? Treat the gravely ill. One of our people is gravely ill. If you sign the radical treatment law, the gravely ill will be treated in medical posts, but may undergo risky amputation as a result. Alternatively, you might sign the sustain life law to keep them al alive until we build an infirmary. Yeah, we already did that. Thank you so much. What else? Survivors reach the city. Sir, a group of survivors has reached our city. They are tired, they'll need a place to rest, a bite to eat, and perhaps some medical attention. But they are ready to lend a hand however they can. I see. So if we are getting workers... Yeah, that's definitely a worker. Can we build a hunting hut? Uh, damn it. If our only food supply is hothouses, how are we going to survive? We have no more... No more steam cores. Uh, we might be able to start destroying automatons and start replacing them with people, but that will require more coal, uh, which sucks. We're gonna have to redo all of these, um, all of our nice calculations. Damn. Okay. What are we doing? 6 a.m. The researchers are starting to go back to work. Oh, and we do need some people. In the cookhouse, no, we don't. First, we need to build that. First, we need to build that depot so that we can store more um, rations so that we can survive the storm. Now we need 500 rations. Great. Great. Just great. <laughs> Uh, Gadget Nee, my friend, how are you doing, mate? Thanks for popping into my stream yesterday. I appreciate it. No problem whatsoever, mate. Uh, that's the least I could do after all the support you've shown to my, to my channel. I was actually looking into uh, how to subscribe to your channel, uh, either by using Prime Gaming or something else. But then Prof anticipated and he gifted me a sub, so... <laughs> yeah, I already thanked him. I already thanked him. Thank you so much for dropping by. How is your weekend going? How is the stream going? Uh, I was lurking for most of it. That's all good, man. <laughs> um, I was lurking for most of your stream uh, yesterday. Uh, and I did see that at one point you had like 30 plus viewers. Gadgini hype. Yeah, you're blowing up, man. You're doing great. <laughs> Glad to see you're doing so well. Uh, scouts have reached the ruined warehouse. Raw food and wood. Well, that's all great. I really wish we could find... Um, we could find some more steam cores, man. Uh, okay, explore, I guess. Frozen supplies. With moderate effort, we were able... To we were able to remove crates containing supplies from under the snow. We'll put them to good use in our city. Take resources. For sure. Dude, it was a fun one. Yeah, that was good. 30 plus viewers. Yeah, man. You deserve them. <laughs> uh, okay, what else can we do? I think it's too risky to send them over here. 24 hours to arrive. Uh, maybe. We do need to get to that expedition camp sooner rather than later. Um, you know what? We could use the, the survivors to make more... <laughs> To make more expeditions, uh, scout units, and that way we, we wouldn't even have to feed them. Hmm. Maybe that's a valid strategy. Not sure. Uh, yeah, but we do need to send some guys over here. Not sure if those guys are the one. These guys definitely need to keep exploring down here. 
So, what do you think? Reached my goal. 300 followers. So happy for that. Gonna do a giveaway sometime this week. Well, next week. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Congrats on reaching 300 followers, my friend. Very nice. Uh, very, very nice and very well deserved, my friend. Man, man, well, she. Hey, bro. Hope you are doing well. Gadgini, sorry. Gadgini, I had no notification of you being live. When are you streaming again? I was still sorting this PC out yesterday. Glad to hear you are doing good, Gadgini. Hey, Mad Man Welshy, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for dropping by. How was your stream yesterday? Uh, I tried to support as much as I could. Uh, were you able to get at least three average viewers to reach affiliate? To go towards affiliate? <laughs> I'm English. Alright, uh, now we need to decide where to send these scouts. Mm. <laughs> you know what, let's risk the snow dune. Let's risk the snow dune. Um, so yeah. Okay, what's going on here? Helping at what cost? Sir, some of our people are restless. They argue that with the storm closing in, we won't be able to succeed in our mission and help New Manchester at the same time. They understand it's a difficult decision, but they want to know what your priority will be when we have to choose. We can't abandon the, the people in need. Discontent will rise. Um, I won't endanger our mission. Hope will fall. Uh, well, you know, seeds are all nice, uh, but uh, saving people is better, man. We, we, we can survive without seeds, we can't survive without people, so... Uh, other than that, Discontent is doing really, really well. Uh, so we can, we can, we can deal with the extra Discontent for now. sure you drop by nice really warms my heart to see everyone everyone supporting each other all right coal mining optimization researched so if that guy is in is in care uh, let's not prioritize that guy's care because we do have we do have the um, we do have the time to spare but we need to carry on push over to mechanical calculations how much time? 10 hours at 100% research rate. Uh, we do have a lot of research centers. So this should be a jiffy. Uh, okay, so this will need to be food rations. And now we need to send 5 people over here. Where can we remove the extra workforce? That's all automated. Um, we might need to get them off research, unfortunately. And into cooking food. What are we doing? Right, how much time do we have until temperature drops? One day, the remaining of the day of this day and another one. So appreciated. I see you in the stream soon. Always wanted to see one of your streams, so I'm hundred percent will be there next stream. Alright. <laughs> yeah, Gajini is a very good streamer. He knows how to entertain his viewers. Make sure to, dro to drop by. Okay, one hour until scouts arrive. Lots of materials that these guys have. We don't need them though. Alright, lots of food rations. Let's get them out of the cookhouse and back into, into research. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> depends on the day I just stream for a laugh and trying to have fun with people in in it yeah that's what makes you a good a good streamer right um, thank you uh, streaming for a laugh being relaxed all of that helps engage viewers and ultimately uh, making sure that they're having fun and if our viewers are having fun then that's a good stream all right what have we reached a distinct spot in the frost land we can use it as a waypoint uh, again we haven't we haven't discovered anything useful research outpost okay loons in the distance uh, 12 hours to arrive a heavy steam lorry it must have been abandoned a long time ago uh, okay supply depot okay so 15, 12 hours here 11 hours there let's go for the research outpost we need those steam cores come on people we need to find more steam cores doing we're researching like madmen we definitely need to reach uh, that level 3 so that we can optimize coal a little bit and stockpile a wee bit more coal what are we doing on consumption we are doing relatively well <laughs> all right mechanical calculations Now, what's our main priority? We have automaton integration, improves work workplace integration of automatons, boosting their efficiency by 10% to 70%, but they're already at 65%. Will they be boosted to, to 75%? Streamline automatons. Automatons will cost 20 wood and 20 steel less to make. Uh, meh. We can't make any more because we're out of, of steam cores. Uh, prosthesis. Um, Okay, so either the automaton upgrade because that will mean more resources, all of the resources uh, will be will be better, or the heater efficiency upgrade, or the generator power, or the steam hub range. Let's go for the, auto the automatons first, though. As we do, as this will be will benefits will yield the most the the bigger benefit, right? Automaton integration. Let's see resources. Uh, we will need this steam coal mine. Mm -hmm. 600, how much? 240. Okay, and then we'll do a trick uh, where we'll just merge both steam coal mines into one. And we'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, it's not nearly as easy. 24 hour stream. Yeah, I'm English. You're crazy, man. 24 hours has to be has to be really really tough how much how much food are we gathering per day we're consuming 36 we have 46 units of raw food per day which yields um, 92 uh, un 92 units minus 36 and it'll be 62 minus 6 uh, 50, 50 56 units to spare per day uh, so yeah we'll reach 500 in no time about having fun and trying to chat with people in chat ask them questions to have a constant conversation Affected game choice, how active in chat you are, lively you are. Sometimes the people you play with can affect your views. Just keep grinding, you'll get there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, also, something that really helped me uh, was to have a consistent schedule and sticking to it uh, almost no matter what. Because at first you might not get any views uh, on that schedule, but uh, s slowly people will get used to used to always being live on that schedule, and that will help with uh, viewers getting back to you and supporting you more. So, uh, we will need.
need to research houses. Can we research houses already? Yeah, we can. But we do have the time. We have 11 days to do that. So let's not do that just yet. Oh, these guys are not on the 20. Neither are these guys. Okay, let's get them all. Let's get them all to boost. To boost our research. As we do need to research at lightning speed. I'm always interacting with my chat, having a laugh. Just seem to be like bringing in new people. Hey, um, Madman, are you are you on the Primal Gaming Discord? All right, Automaton's integration research, nice. Uh, next, what's our priority next? Heater efficiency. I would say heater efficiency, because that will help us deal with the cold. I do is just popping into random channels on recommended. Try going to smaller channels and try to chat as well. Yeah, that's one great way to bring viewers to your own channel uh, by showing support first. And that's why uh, in the in the Discord channels you should absolutely support the people that go live. Uh, to be honest, not everyone is going to support you back, but that's okay. Uh, if you give a little bit more than you receive in any of these interactions then and you do them often enough eventually you'll get enough consistent viewers on your stream how are we doing uh, consumption nice 950 units per day now and we should have boosted uh, these two as well the raw food as well right yeah 54 units per day all right scouts have reached the research outpost what do we have here steam cores yes we need these we desperately we so desperately need these uh, this research outpost was deserted a long time ago it's quite old but there might be still some useful equipment inside explore gone home the people who worked here were explorers. They paved the way north for the rest of us. They must have left in a hurry, perhaps to reunite with their families before the great winter took hold. Take resources. Three steam cores. Oh, we so need that. We so desperately need that. Um, I kind of want to send them over here first, though, before they return. Uh, decisions, decisions. Mm, should, we, should we have them re return ASAP? Because we desperately need the steam cores, or should we have them explore the steam lorry? Eh, let's get them to the steam lorry. See how that goes. We still have one full day before temperature drops, which is good. We are already researching heater efficiency, which should make us consume a wee bit less coal and make us stockpile a bit more of coal, as we do need as we do need more um, coal. Let's build another another depot, shall we? Resource depot. Can we build one here? Can we build one here? But we can definitely build one there. I am hoping my channel is good enough and that my viewers have fun. That's what I get worried about sometimes, but Thanks for the advice, guys. I'm new to this streaming and it's all about learning new things. Is for me our Disc Discord link. What happened? I feel like something happened. Um, Discord link. See you. Stay safe. Yeah, the thing is, um, uh, this this is valid for everything you do, um, for everything you do in life uh, that is, uh, let's say, entrepreneurial uh, in nature, as starting a stream channel is. 
uh, no matter how good your product, your stream, whatever you're doing is, at the beginning that won't matter at all because nobody knows you. And it's really hard for people to start knowing you. Uh, of course, the stream, the product, whatever you're, you're trying, you're, you're doing, has to be good, has to be good enough for people to stay. But even if it's the best thing ever, uh, people won't know you, so people won't come. You have to really work to get yourself out there, get yourself visible. What's going on? One sick. We should have space, right? Yeah, we do. Um, and then people will slowly start knowing you. Once you can have uh, get that momentum where people start knowing you and people start talking about you and telling other people to come check you out, uh, then you, you can relax a little bit, maybe. Uh, but yeah, at first you're gonna have to work doubly hard to get your stream out there and for people to start knowing you. And that's really, really hard. That is no easy task, my friend. I mean, it's perfectly fine for you to start struggling. I was struggling for a very long time until I met these oh, fantastic people, RPG Addict, Gajni, Abaddon, um, uh, Jurash, and they all invited me to their discords. That helped a lot. What I started doing then was I started supporting the people that uh, that uh, are sharing the go live channels in the in the chat channels in, on their discords, and then slow slowly those people started supporting me back and talking about me, and slowly we start building a community. Resource Depot. Another one of these. So, more coal. Has the research gone up again? Not yet. At 6 a.m. they will start researching again. How are we doing temperature wise? These guys are good. Yeah, these guys are great, actually. I'm always in streams of the ones that are in my channel showing me support. We have the best community on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, we definitely do. Uh, especially with Primal Gaming. I'm not sure if we're, you're in the Primal Discord. Uh, if not, uh, I will try to see if I have permission to add you. That's a great community for you to get started with. Um, snow Dust. A distinct sprout in the Frostland. We can use it as a waypoint for further exploration. New landmark. Damn it! Stop not finding anything. Snowbound dreadnoughts. Land dreadnoughts stuck in the ice. It's barely visible despite its size. Okay, that's bound to have some steam cores. Uh, large supply trailers stuck in the ice. Okay. Uh, 12 hours and 14 hours. Let's go for this guy first. That's bound to have some steam cores that we desperately, desperately need. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, I'm not sure if if I was um, if it was clear enough. Uh, giving back is great, uh, but in order to grow your community to be faster, uh, you need to start being proactive and starting supporting before they support you. That's a great way to grow your community. Lurk, I don't have gonna be lurking for now. Be back soon in chat. All right, that's all right, my friends. Thank you so much for dropping by. Uh, I don't have any commands yet, so but yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for the lurk. Thank you so much for the for the support. I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Okay, we probably should go for houses next. Uh, as we will need that to face the cold. <laughs> All right, let's see what the other scout scouts uncover. Scouts have reached the steam lorry. More steam cores! Score! 
such a good score here. Uh, this huge machine used to haul tons of cargo until it broke. We can dismantle it to retrieve some resources. Explore. Heavy hauler. The generators were built thanks to the st steam lorries like this and their ability to haul cargo over the frozen landscape. It's a shame it can't be repaired. Uh, sure. We need those steam cores, so... Screw repairs. Alright, you are carrying six steam cores. Get back to our city with that lovely, lovely bounty. Lovely, lovely bounty. Drink some water. We absolutely will need those steam cores to upgrade these mines and to do much, much more. By the way, how are the, the automatons? 75% efficiency, nice. Heater efficiency upgrade research. The heater will burn one less coal per hour, which means we are doing even better on coal consumption. Now, let's see. We won't need uh, the power upgrade yet. Uh, so, we probably should go for the houses and... Yeah, cook house installation. No, 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 not cook house. Uh, actual house. <laughs> actual house installation. Um, maybe the medical post for the infirmary. We'll see. But we don't have the steam cores yet. So let's go for houses. Let us go for the lovely, lovely houses, so that everyone can have a warm place to live when once temperature drops. Alright, the steam cores will arrive tomorrow. We will have a lot to, a lot to use them on. We'll, we'll get uh, that engineer to keep working on his research. We might be able to build, build an infirmary. Actually, we might be able to replace this medical post with an infirmary somewhere. Which should be great. Should be great all around. I can't wait to get these resources back home. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, should we build another depot? Uh, not yet. We do have... Oh, we will need to research... Uh, what else? We will need to research the resource depot. First aid gathering, we don't need that, but the resource depot will be... Will be a nice upgrade. We'll definitely need that. You still here, bro? I'm English. Thank you so much for that lurk. Really appreciate that nice support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Silver Islander. I love these automatons' names. Oh, what's going on? Amputees. Serious accident, sir. There's been an accident. An automaton has stepped on a man, crushing his leg and crippling him for life. People argue that automatons should walk, walk more slowly and carefully, even at the cost of their efficiency. Slow down the automatons. Hope will rise. The efficiency of automatons will fall, fall by 10%. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Discontent will rise slightly. Automatons will remain a threat. We can't afford it. I mean, we can't afford it. We need the automatons at their full capacity. Uh, does that mean we have, we do have an amputee? Which means, uh, automatons. How can we build? How can we build? Um, how can we build? Uh, can we build... Damn it! Prosthesis. 
Prestigious will cost 5 less steel. Uh, where can we build this prosthesis? I thought it was in the factory. got a permanent hit to our research rate which is unfortunate all right how's research what next heating we don't need the power, the level two power yet. Uh, we might need the efficiency. Let's see. We don't need this. We don't need that. Um, oh, we will definitely need the steel, the steam coal mine, and probably some wall drills as well. Let's go for the steam coal mine so that we can upgrade it as soon, as soon as those steam cores arrive. Oh, we do have houses now, so let's replace them, shall we? People, house. One, two, three, four, five. Still, how do we build prosthesis? Not automatons, I want to build prosthesis. How do we build them? Not yet for those guys though. We will need to cook a bit more as soon as we can. Not sure if we if we're going to be able to gather enough coal, but we'll see. Scouts have reached the snowbound dreadnought. More steam cores. Yes! That is what we need, people. That is what we're talking about. Is what we need. An old abandoned dreadnought that's completely covered in snow. It's been it's been here for a long time. Explore. Pioneer vehicle. Uh, this land dreadnought wasn't designed for this kind of weather. Presumably it was part of one of the prospecting expeditions before the great winter. We found some priceless resources there. Oh nice, more, three more steam cores. Really all we need. Uh, let's get them to the supply trailer. See if we can find some more steam cores and then we'll get them to return to our city. Right, people. Oh, we're still researching. Nice. At 8 p.m., we'll start building all these, all these lovely, lovely houses. So that people can be a little bit uh, warmer in the in the coming cold. We already know how MPTs work, right? These guys are coming back with six steam cores. They will arrive tomorrow at daybreak or midday. No, they a bit earlier. About 8 a.m. maybe? Yeah, 8 a.m. sounds about right. Houses are all being built. a save point there all right
right, one of the houses has been built. Two of the houses have been built. Three houses, two more. Just one more house to go. No, no, actually two more houses to go. sick uh, can we get you over to the infirmary we can all right three ha four houses done one to go all right all houses are done and they should all be very very warm now Let's make a checklist as we will need to brace ourselves for temperature drop by one level. Uh, these two are fine. Uh, we will need... Okay, just up the generator one level and we should be fine. Should cover all, everything. So unfortunately, cons consumption will... Uh, consumption will skyrocket, but that's a price to pay for more heat. working uh, in the infirmary again. Uh, infirmary, no, cookhouse. So that we can transform all of these lovely, lovely rations into over 160 uh, rations, this raw food, into uh, some nice rations so that we have enough for the, for the storm. Also, uh, these scouts will be arriving in the city with six more steam cores in just five hours. In five hours, these guys will, will arrive to the next next place, which hopefully will have more steam cores. All right, we've reached 2,000 units of coal. Uh, we need another resource depot so that we can still keep stockpiling coal uh, resource depot, let's go okay scouts have reached the supply trailer all right plenty of various equipment lies scattered around the trailer probably taken out in an attempt to free it after the ice has collapsed under it more steam cores! Yes! Let's go! That is what we need! Priceless machinery. This gear must have belonged to the prospectors or explorers who came before us. Some of it was twisted and crushed by the moving ice, but we found many usable things. Good, 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 good. Take resources. Alright, six team cores. It's time for you guys to get back to the city and deliver those lovely, lovely steam cores. Can we get somebody to work there before we start to build that before we start the workday? That would be really, really nice. Oh, 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 wait, 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 we forgot, we forgot, we forgot. Steam level 2. And overdrive, immediate overdrive, so that we can cover while, while this is reaching steam level 2. Completely forgot about that temperature drop. 
Okay, dial overdrive back down. Let's see, how are we doing? We are doing good. We are doing very good. Everything is chilly. Everything is chilly, so... Uh, for the next one, we will need that overdrive and to turn on the steam hubs over there. How are we doing on consumption? Okay. We're still stockpiling about 300 units of coal per day. We'll see. Research is almost done. Steam coal mine researched. Okay. And in one hour we'll be able to upgrade the mines. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now, what else can we do? Now that we have the steam cores. Uh, let's see... Uh, probably now is a good time... Oh, industrial hothouse. I don't think we need it for now, though. Hothouse insulation, that might be a good one. Let's see, how are we doing? Hothouse is chilly, but working. Which is good enough. Um, let's see... Resources... Charcoal, no need for that. Uh, we definitely need the depots. We definitely need the depots. Um, we definitely need those depots. Let's go for that. Uh, faster gatherings. Let's start with that, and then we'll go for the depots. Still here. Units number one have returned safely to the city, all right, with a shit ton of materials. A shit ton of them. Okay, let's see here. Here's the engineer. Sir, steam core needed, yes. Uh, yes, give him a steam core. We can deal with the discontent rising. And now, let's send them back out into the wilderness, shall we? Let's see, should we try to save Manchester now? I think we have enough steam cores, so let's let's definitely send them over there. See what we can find. Uh, but first, we have been streaming for a while now. I will take a short five minute break and I will be right back. If you're enjoying this stream, please consider, consider supporting this channel. Uh, you can do that by donating as low as one dollar. You've got a button, a donate button below, uh, or you could subscribe to this channel. You can subscribe for free with uh, um, a Twitch Prime, which is now called Prime Gaming, uh, for absolutely free. So yeah, and if you have Prime Video or Amazon Prime, you get Prime Gaming or Twitch Prime for free. So yeah, feel free to do that uh, if you can. I will be right back.
we are back and I think that in the meantime I screwed up my setup again no okay good looks like we're good um, if that's the case let's get right back into the game shall we oh we have a ton of raw food we have a ton of raw food <laughs> that we can convert into lovely lovely rations how is stress level? It's gone back down to zero. That's good. We have a ton of steam cores. Right? Oh, we're full of wood. That means... That means that we can start building... Another steel... Uh, steam steelworks. Another one here. Let's get some... Sh let's get this show on the road. Yeah, this is probably the best one. Yeah, that's probably the optimal path. Because we can't go over there, but... Uh, ooh, <laughs> even more wood now. Okay, so let's take advantage as soon as the workday is over. We are going to upgrade these mines into um, the Steam version, right? Oopsie. That's not what I wanted. Uh, the Steam coal mine, yes. Ooh, where did you come from, my friend? Yeah, don't step on anyone, please. Oh, you're going to work on the hothouse. Good. Good, 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 good. Oh, almost done here. Okay, let's go for the resource depot upgrade. are almost at full steel too. But that means we have an automaton to spare. If we have an automaton to spare, we can get him in the cookhouse and get these guys back researching. To give the research that extra oomph that we need. <laughs> What did we... That's the achievement. Finish the automaton project. Okay. Scientific method, volume one. A huge success. Great success. Sir, the automaton project is complete. Automatons can now be produced at lower cost and used in medical facilities. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, we learned to modify the automatons with precision attachments, allowing them to work on the most fragile thing we know of, the human body. It also turns out we can remove some non-essential parts. Well done! Automatons can be used at medical facilities, the cost of autom automatons falls by 5%. Medical automatons researched. Noise. Noise. If that's the case, we need to build one more. Yeah, we definitely need to build one more. Okay. So, sorry, you're not gonna boost research just yet. You are going to build an automaton. We should be building an infirmary though, right? To heal that poor... That poor fella. This poor Edward Manson. Yeah, let's go for the coal mines first. And then we'll see. Oh. You're, you're going to build some roads first. Okay, I see. Uh, please don't. Please build the automaton first. Nah, uh, I guess we're not building it today. We can research the resource depot upgrade by the end of the day. I think we will. So 
now we got fully automated food. This is pretty cool. I am really enjoying this city. Fully automated food. <laughs> All we need to do is get... Resource Depot upgrade researched. Very, very good. This is ins insanely good. Uh, so let's keep going to the large uh, resource depot, I would say. Uh, I would say, let's see if there's anything that we must do first. Uh, I don't... Uh, maybe go for the infirmary? It's not really a priority though. Our priority is to gather as much as many resources as we can. We don't need the generator upgrade just yet. Uh, so yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Ooh, lots of resources. One oh. day ends. It's time off. Okay. Uh, are we building this? Not yet. As soon as we're building that, let's uh, start building these two coal mines. Are we doing on consumption? Still stockpiling coal. Which is great. Scouts have reached the expedition camp. Some wood. The tents in this camp the tents in this camp are old and covered in patches. It seems to be deserted. Hmm. Explore. Fallen heroes. We found the bodies of the of the other new Manchester expedition members. Their supplies were completely insufficient for this weather. That one of them managed to reach our city. From here, beggars relief. Take resources. Okay. Keep going. Broken vehicle. Shiny piece of metal sticking out of the ice. Okay, how many days do we have? 9 days and 22 hours until the storm hits. Uh, we will have enough food. We just need to gather enough coal as well. Not sure if we're going to make it to the coal though. But we'll see. Uh, this, these mining upgrades will definitely come in handy for us to reach our coal goal. Okay, that's that's beginning to be built. It is now almost 8 p.m., so let's definitely upgrade these guys' steam coal mine. And Oh, it takes advantage that they are the the automatons are going to recharge. So yeah. Let's see, we have three steam cores to spare. Have we began building this automaton? Not yet. We definitely need to build that infirmary. Uh, just not the top priority right now. Ooh, and six within six hours, we'll get six more, six more steam cores, which is always nice. Large resource thing, all right. People are building that, just not incredibly fast. Over there. Oh, because they are also building another resource depot. Okay, looks like the street has been built. Um, we're building another steam mine. No, oh, we do have enough food now. Which is great. We just need to gather enough coal. We'll be, we, we should be fine. And we still have nine days to do that, so it looks like we have plenty of time. I don't want to jinx it, jinx it though, because every time I say that we have plenty of time, we end up not having plenty of time. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I kind of wish they would prioritize these two though. Okay, that's built. Or 
Alright, workers are starting to upgrade the coal mines. Good. That is what we need. How many workers on each? Five hours. Five hours. We got one being treated and one in palliative care. As soon as we build that other automaton, we can free up five more engineers, so we will have more workforce. Maybe even make another scout unit. Keep upgrading them, you crazy, crazy workers. Oh, temperature is about to drop. So we will need to overdrive this bad boy. And Scout unit number two have returned safely to the city, bringing so many steam cores. Really love these guys. We gotta give them all a big, a big old thumbs up and a promotion. <laughs> uh, what else? We got six steam cores, 54 raw food, a bit of coal, a bit of wood, and a bit of steel. Okay, and that means we are full of steel, which means we can take this guy out of here get him working on the on the medical center that means more people will rest come on upgrade those mines Alright, one of them is fully functioning. They pulled an all-nighter in order to be able to do this, but it was definitely worth it. As our our coal gathering is through the roof right now. Through the roof. Uh, oh, these guys are waiting. We have to send them back out. Uh, let's send them to the supply depot. Temperature is about to drop. As soon as it does, we will need to turn on one gravely sick. Is that another one? Oh, he's waiting for the automaton to arrive, I see. Uh, as soon as temperature drops, we will start overdrive. Oh. I thought that was it. But scouts reach the broken vehicle. Ooh, more steam cores. Some of some sort of machine buried under the ice. Our best guess is that it's a heavy cargo crawler. Suicide mission. This vehicle belonged to the members of an expedition from New Manchester. It was clearly too heavy for the ice. It rolled over. Using it here was pure suicide. Observation tower and damaged snowcat. One steam core. Damage snowcat 13 hours or 14 hours there. Okay, let's go to damage snowcat first. A vehicle wrecked by an explosion. There are parts scattered around it. Okay, let's send them over there. Okay, temperature is dropping. Let's go into overdrive mode. Um, these guys are freezing. Which means we will need to turn these on. You should no longer be freezing, my friends. You are leaving. Yeah, we don't even need the heaters anymore. How are we doing on consumption? We're still doing 
fantastic. A thousand units per day, that means that we will have enough coal uh, very, very soon. Cook house functioning. We have, oh, we have the engineers to spare. We definitely have the engineers to spare. Let's see, why are we building another automaton exactly? I don't think we need it. Going at 40%. We might need another research center though. Ooh, some workers going over there. <laughs> Alright, large resource depot. Large resource depot. Oh we haven't we haven't decided on what we're going to do with this yet. Coal, so how much coal can we store? I believe there's statistics here somewhere about that. Okay, so 4,950 units of coal that we can store. That is not nearly good enough yet, so let's keep building those. Uh, what, can we, what should we research next? Let's see. Uh, we probably should go for... We probably should go for the medical post upgrade now. Or maybe... Maybe a different engine. Uh, so that we can keep go going. Ooh, medical automatons. Ooh, that came for free, okay. Uh, we definitely want to go for that, but first let's go... Let's go for the medical post upgrade and then for the infirmary. Do that thread real quick. Uh, oh, we are... We have enough food now. We have more than enough food now. Do we have anyone that's unemployed? Nope, unfortunately not. So why are we building another automaton? <laughs> not sure. But we'll see. Siren Mayhem, this looks complicated, lol. <laughs> a little bit, this is a strategy game. Um, this is a strategy game, so it you will need to plan, you will need to strategize ahead. Slash city builder, so you need to manage resources and all that lovely stuff. But it is a cool game. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Thank you so much for dropping by. <laughs> uh, Siren Mayhem. Um, are you a streamer too, by the way? We are doing way too well on resources. Uh, we will need to be build some large depots. Let's see. Oh wow, they're not kidding. When they say large depot, it's 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 really really large. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's build one here. Yeah, let's build one here. It's actually really, really large. I wish the automatons could build, could be used to build these these things too. Can we go for prosthes prosthesis, sustain life, extra rations for the ill, care house, prosthetics? Oh, we have to sign that. Okay, we'll have to build a care house. We can definitely build a care house. That's how we get prosthetics. Uh, let's see, care house. Where can we build the care house? The care house needs uh, needs a lot of heat uh, treatment in order to work properly. Okay, this looks like the perfect place to set up a care house. As soon as that automaton is done, let's get these guys out of here so that they can start building. that and then we can go for prosthetics new automaton has been built I don't know why though, we don't need it <laughs> but we'll see alright, medical post upgrade has been researched, let's go for that sweet sweet infirmary uh, and then we'll probably go for the level 4 research oops, not what we wanted 
probably go for the difference engine so we can start researching level 4 stuff. Also, we probably should build another another one of these workshops so that we can research research a little bit faster. We'll see. Are you guys building something? Where are these guys going? Got four unemployed. Get to work, people. We need to build that. Are they taking a, a day off? A breather? I think they are. got nine days to gather 8,000 coal, we got 3k and we are uh, we, we have 1k and a half per day, so yeah we're, we're definitely doing that assuming, oh they're building it, nice assuming we have enough enough space to store all that lovely coal care, care house promise fulfilled, hope rises, okay not that we needed it, but yeah Yeah, now go go on and build that resource depot. Okay, we are no longer full of wood, so let's get uh, the automaton working here again. Oh, just 25 more units of wood. Uh, in that case, we'll need to either build another one of these, or just go for the wall drills. We'll see. Not yet. Researcher, researchers will keep going until 8 p.m. Infirmary research. Nice. Very, very nice. What can we research now? Infirmary mechanization. Uh, we don't need any of these, so let's go straight. Let's go straight into the wall drill. The wall drill? Yeah, we have enough steam cores to spare. Um, 160 wood per standard workday. Uh, how much for these? This produces 70. Oh, not this. Uh, sawmill. 120 wood per day. Okay, so that is definitely an upgrade. Yeah, let's go for that. Because we do have the steam cores to spare. We got one more. These guys are carrying one more. We'll see how that goes. Scouts have reached the damaged snowcat. Alright. Uh, this used to be a large snowcat. Its steam turbine must have exploded, turning it into a heap of junk. Explore. Bags of resources. We found some supplies inside the wreck. We surely find... Uh, we'll surely find a good use for them. Sure. Steel is nice, but we don't really need that. Observation tower. 20 hours to arrive. Let's get them over there, shall we? Okay, this is halfway through the stress level, but that's okay because temperature will ri will rise again. You should probably build a, an infirmary. We should probably build an infirmary. That's that is a good a good thing to do. Oh, and temperature will not drop in the foreseeable future. Which is great. Which is honestly great. Um, so we are gathering more wood. What's going on here? Okay, that's done. That's done for. That is done for. Um, let's see, if I were to build an infirmary, wh where would I build it? Infirmaries, infirmaries have really good isolation, right? 
base heating level is 2. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Uh, this looks like a good spot. We're going for it. Let's see. What if we build a house there? The house be okay. It would. The house would never be in range of that. So let's build an infirmary there. Here. All right. Then we'll get an automaton working over there. The resource depot is nearly completed. Uh, well, not nearly completed, but you know, people are starting to build it, which is nice. I think it will be another all-nighter for our brave engineers. Oh, they are star starting to build the infirmary. How's that resource depot going, fellas? Chop, chop. You, need, you guys need some rest, it's midnight and you, you need some rest too. get this automaton out of there and then we'll get the automaton here and finally we can heal the, the Edward Manston you have any patients here no patients so let's get you out of there and into the cookhouse we have any patients here we have Edward Manston going to treatment Alright, we need to start gathering steel again. Uh, do we have the automatons to spare? We do not. Let's get them out of there and one in there. Are we still building? We might need to build another automaton. That's okay, we have the materials. We have the materials to spare. This will go for coal, and now we have enough depots for coal, right? Let's see. Yep, 10,000 units of coal, we have enough depots for that. Uh, we can start gathering... Oh, there's just no more wood to gather over there. That's okay, we can do one day without wood. And then still working we will need to manage those stress levels but at that is absolutely okay because we're about yeah stress level is critical care house yeah I know uh, uh, what we need to monitor that is okay because we can turn them off as temperature will rise here by one level Four percent in three, two, one. Come on, temperature, get back up. There we go. It's always at 7 a.m. I just noticed that now for some reason. All right, let's pause. Let's turn the overdrive back off. How are we doing? We are doing insanely good, uh, temperature-wise. So let's turn this guy back off. Let's turn this on. This guy goes back off. This guy goes on. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, that's it. That is probably it. 
uh, generator is at steam level 2, as it should. Uh, but all the arcs are chilly, everything else is good, houses are comfortable, the workplaces are livable. So yeah, doing good. Let's see how our consumption is. Oh yeah, so great. It's so great. We are stockpiling a shit ton of coal. Which is what we need to prepare for the storm in just a little bit over 8 days. Oh, the infirmary is not working. Too cold. Okay. How about if we do this? Okay. That's good enough. Or do we have the engineers to spare? We do have the engineers to spare. Um, let's get them working on another automaton, shall we? Because we used all of them. One of them. Um, overdrive is off, so generator is slowly recovering. Research is going on, we will need to build that wall tree. That wall drill, not wall tree, what the hell am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, wall drill researched. We could go for the steam wall drill. I don't think we need it though. That's this is already going to be an upgrade over the steam sawmill. Uh, so let's just go for the difference engine, right? So that we can we can upgrade uh, the efficiency even further, get the advanced heaters, all of that good stuff. Oh, Diny Twitch! Thank you so much for the follow. You rock! Really appreciate that follow. Really, really appreciate that. Really helps out the channel. You rock, my friends. Uh, okay, let's go for the difference engine right now. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Uh, nothing else is as priority, has higher priority than that, I believe. Um, we are doing good on every on every front, so yeah, let's go for that. Definitely upgrade, and we are out of wood, which means we need to build that wall drill sooner rather than later. Wall drill. Where can we build wall drills in this map? Hmm. Just the one place, okay. Just the one place over there. Uh, let's see. 15 of wood. We don't have the wood to spare. Oh my. We're gonna have to collect some more wood before we can do that. Hmm. Are any of these guys coming back? soon? No, they're going out. Hmm, we have one wood to spare, which means that we're going to have to build a sawmill. Sawmill costs wood? What? Oh my! We're in a pickle. Uh, we're in a pickle. But we can delete this for wood. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Should have probably paid attention. Uh, before we started building, if we had enough resources to, you know, um, build streets. Oh, <laughs> hello! It looks like it's the first. It's almost almost as if it's the first time that I'm playing this game, huh? I did play the. <laughs> I did play the main story, and we are doing much better. But yeah. Still making noob mistakes sometimes, it appears. Uh, okay, so... These guys are building the automaton. We will have that up and running as soon as this automaton is built, I guess. As we can free them from this work... Free these guys from this workplace. By the way, how are you doing, my fri friend? About a day until you recover. Okay. Lots and lots of automatons in this playthrough. Really, really enjoying it. We are still stockpiling coal, right? 
about 1.5k per day, over 1.5k per day. We still have 8 days, that would mean... That will mean... Well, over 8k. Actually over 12k of coal stockpile. So yeah, we're doing good on that front as well. How are we doing, my friends? Let's hurry up, as you do need to get to building everything and dismantling the other stuff so that we can build the roads, uh, the streets, over uh, over to that lovely, lovely wall drill. Oh, what's going on? Oh, okay. All cogs are oiled up. Let's get you out of there. What's going on here? A note of thanks, care house. Someone has left a note at the care house. It reads, thank you with all the work we have to do. It's so hard for families to properly care for an invalid. Places like this make life a little easier for all of us. I'm glad I could help and hope will rise slightly. Man, we are doing really well on hope on this playthrough. We are doing really, really well. Of course, every time we say that we're doing really, really well, we jinx it and the game will slap us in the face. Uh, but it does seem that temperature will remain constant. Huh? We'll see. Maybe we'll find an event that changes this and temperature will drop like five levels instantly <laughs> and everybody dies. And then we get hit by a tsunami for some reason. <laughs> uh, a frozen tsunami, which is even worse. Okay, guys, let's get dismantling these things as we do need the wood to build the street over there. Don't have to build anything else today, no more automatons. So. Oh, well, lots of things happening. Okay, one at a time. Uh, difference engine has been researched and the scouts have reached the observation tower. Uh, let's go for research. Uh, so, yeah, definitely the generator efficiency seems to be a no brainer. Uh, actually, no. Uh, let's go. Ooh, engineer automatons. I like it. Uh, we don't have the resources, though. Of course, we don't have the resources. Uh, actually, that's going to be a bottleneck right now, right? Do we have any resources to research anything? Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> God damn, such lack of planning. We were doing so well. We are researching at lightning speed from mostly the beginning of this playthrough of the arcs until now, and now we've hit um, now we've hit uh, a bottleneck. Damn it! We were doing so well. Ooh, coal mine optimization. We'll definitely want that. Um, okay, steam wall drill. Sure, let's go for that. 25 of steel. Okay, we have plenty of steel. Whew. We, this is not the optimal research path, but... Uh, ooh. Uh, still here. Thank you so much, Gajani. You're awesome at support. I love you so much. Still here, Lurking. I am English. Thank you so much. I also love you too so much. You are also awesome for supporting this channel. And of course, I support you guys back. Uh, make sure, by the way, to everyone who's watching, make sure to check out Gajani's uh, uh, Twitch stream and I'm English's Twitch stream. Gajani plays Warzone and I'm English. I'm not sure what you're playing right now, but feel free to, to say that in the chat. Uh, make sure to check them out. Also, if we're talking about Twitch streams, if you like what we're doing right here and you'd like to support, you can do so by donating as low as $1, there's a button below, or by subscribing to this channel. Remember that you can subscribe for absolutely free if you have Prime Gaming, which was formerly known as Twitch Prime. And if you have Prime Video or Amazon Prime, you can get Twitch Prime or Prime Gaming for free. So yeah. Now, back to the game. Uh, this is not the optimal uh, research path that we wanted to take, but hey, at least we're researching something. Uh, hopefully, hopefully... Uh, what, what are these guys doing? They're just lollygagging, aren't they? Uh, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to whip them. That's it. Uh, we were playing the nice guy until now, but we're, we're gonna have to have a serious conversation with these guys. Uh, we are depending on you guys to dismantle these things, so... Yeah. Because we're out of wood. <laughs> no pun intended, but we are we are out of wood. Uh, oh, these guys are waiting. We completely forgot about these guys. Oh, some wood over here. 
Uh, the other city. We can still see New Manchester. Many strands of smoke rise. Uh, can be seen rising from it, which means it's still inhabited. We have to reach them as soon as possible. Sites discover New Manchester. Uh, windswept snowfield. Take resources, for sure. How long to New Manchester? 11 hours, 13 hours to windswept snowfield. Okay. New Manchester. Let's get there. We still have time, I think. Oh, these guys are almost getting to the supply depot. How much time? Still uh, the, the best part of 8 days, so we should have time to save all of those lovely, lovely people. And where are our engineers? Man, they are slacking off. We are going to have a serious, serious conversation with those engineers. Come on, guys. We let you get off work earlier, and you didn't do jack shit. <laughs> Come on, start dismantling this. We need the wood. Where are they? Are, have they gone for a walk? Hello engineers, are you hiding over here? Are you hiding in the freezing cold of the resource depots? Doesn't look like it. Where are those engineers? Where are those engineers? I have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Oh, we can also destroy the uh, uh, this for more wood. So yeah, let's definitely dismantle that. As we are, we have the infirmary, no need for that anymore. The medical posts. All right, now you're dismantling. Right, five out of five. Not yet. You're just going there. Oh, you're already dismantling the house. Finally, finally. Okay, uh, let's get some streets going on here, shall we? 11 wood. Can, do we have an automaton to spare? We do. Let's get the wood intake again. No pun intended. No pun intended, my people. No need to, no need to turn on those dirty, dirty mines. <laughs> uh... Let's start building those streets, shall we? Okay. You started in the middle in the middle for some reason. As long as everything gets built, I'm okay with that. What else do we have? Right, is the street built? Yeah, the wall drill is working. Let's go. What's your name? The Flying Scotsman. Get to work. Yes, gather some wood for us. Oh, that guy is powerful. He's breaking the ice over there. <laughs> so, what happened? Did something happen? Those guys are all frozen. Not sure if something happened, but we'll see. I kind of want to know how many refugees we'll have to we'll have to accommodate as we save the people from New Manchester. We'll see. All right. We are stockpiling more coal. We are. We have enough food already. I think we're doing good. Oh, scouts have reached the supply depot. Raw food and some wood. No, oh, we could use the wood. Uh, the shack is falling apart, but its contents still have some of value to us. A hidden stash. Searching the shack, we found plenty of valuable supplies. Take resources. Okay, and that's it. So, uh, let's get you to the Lone Boulder. It is the last place we 
we can research, uh, we can search, and then probably we'll get you back to the city. No sign of temperature drops, which is good, which is awesome, to be honest. There is a space for a house there. Let's see how many refugees we'll have to accommodate in one hour and a half. Lots and lots of lovely automatons. I can probably go for the advanced steelworks. Oh. The advanced steelworks afterwards if we need more steel, but I don't think we do. We'll see. There's an automaton working here. Oh, we can create another automaton and get it get it working there if we need to. So, have you healed up, my friend? No, nine hours left. Scouts have reached New Manchester. Alright, let's see what awaits us in New Manchester. This city is much bigger than ours, yet it seems far less advanced and more crowded. Much bigger than ours. That, that, does that mean that our population will double or triple? Hmm. Explore. A dying city, New Manchester. A dimly gl glowing generator stands in the middle of a shanty town. There are so many people here, too many. They look sick, under, underfed, and most of them don't have a proper roof over their heads. Nothing can save them from the storm, except us. Oh wow. We will try to help them. We will leave New Manchester for now, but we will do our best to send help. We must focus on our own survival. We have our own problems. Uh, no, let's definitely try to help them. Uh, if we keep upgrading, I think we can build one more steam hub to get to accommodate more houses and still get them over there. We'll try to help them. Okay, so what else? This place is the only thing standing. Okay, so how can we help them? have like we have a new mission eight for new manchester we f we found new manchester but its people are lacking almost everything needed to survive we can try to help them but only automatons will be able to carry supplies across the windswept wasteland to them if we want to help them survive the storm first they need construction materials wood and steel to build shelters this is just the beginning they will need much more especially food and coal uh okay Okay. Shelter New Manchester. Gather 600 of steel, 600 of wood, one automaton, and send their relief expedition. Uh, okay. Okay, we can do that. We can. We can. We. I think we can do that. We'll have to build more depots, though. But we can definitely do that. Couple more depots. Uh, what else? Huh, okay, so we need to go for automaton efficiency next, probably. We will have enough wood, I believe, each day. Let's see. How much wood are we gathering per day? 288 units, yeah, for sure. For sure. I've got to hold on. People are depending on me. Forty percent efficiency because you guys are going to build the resource depots, right? We do have the steam course to build an extra automaton. We have the automaton to spare, so we'll see. We do have to up our resource production, though. We have to ramp it up. 
we will be able to update this uh, into a st the Steam version of it. Alright, Steam Wall Drino researched. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go for the automatons if we can. Uh, further improves the workplace integration of automatons, boosting their efficiency by 10%. Yeah, definitely. Everyone will benefit from that. The work shift starts. The work shift starts. How is... How is this guy doing? Uh, four hours until he heals up completely. Good. Okay, this will... Why can't we... Oh, okay. That's weird. Okay, one for wood and one for steel. So that we can stockpile those lovely, lovely materials. 750 and still another 750. And no temperature drops in sight, uh, which is great. Which means that we will also need to stockpile... Uh, we'll be able to continue to stockpile coal to reach our objective of 8k. Let's drink some water. Oh, we got some people unemployed. We got some unemployed people, uh, which means... Okay, we got 50 wood. This is probably... Uh, no, let's gather a bit more wood. Uh, yeah, let's gather at least 70. And then we'll upgrade this into the steam wall drill. Let's brace ourselves. What should we research next? Engineer automatons is useful, but not that useful. Resources probably we probably should go for the coal mine optimization, uh, which costs 50 of wood. So, yeah. 69 and 70. All right, let's upgrade that bad boy, shall we? Steam wall drill. All right. Chop chop people, get over there. Upgrade in progress. What's happening? The messenger lives. Captain, we managed to treat the messenger from New Manchester. He's made a full recovery. Thank you. If I'd been in New Manchester, I'd have died. We don't have the means to treat sh such deep frostbite. His city seems to be dangerously un undeveloped. I see. Hope rises. Yeah, we already met your fellow brethren. I thought we were going to pull them back here. Uh, but instead, it looks like we're going to send resources over there. Which is fine. Which is fine by me. Oh, what's going on? Long hours of toil. Sir, our people are worn out. Some of them have been working on extended shifts for days on end. Their efforts is taking a toll and they're becoming restless. They deserve a break. Uh, you're right, they do deserve. Uh, you'll have to keep regular shifts everywhere for three days. Good idea. Uh, you're right, we can, we can slow down a little bit. We can slow down a little bit. All right, automatons integrations. Let's go. Now, straight into the coal mining optimization, so that we gather, we can gather more coal. But we should be already be gathering more. Yep. Now 2k per day. Scouts have reached the windswept snowfields. Uh, the steam spot in the frostland, we can use it as a waypoint for further exploration. 
our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. Okay. Carry on then. Right, Manchester Dreadnought, that's bound to have some more steam cores. Both of these are bound to have some more steam cores. The other day, 21 hours to arrive. How many days we have left? Seven days. Okay, tell you what, we are going to have to build another automaton to start gathering more steel here. Why is this inoperative? Not resume production, requires wood. Okay, right. Definitely. We definitely need more wood. But that's why we're upgrading these to the steam steam wall drill. So that we up our wood gathering uh, potential. should be back. I think the automatons also participate in the building. Maybe or maybe not. Okay, how many units are we gathering of wood per day? We are gathering 408 units of wood per day, which is insane. It's just insane. Let's sign another law. We could have signed the prosthetics law again. Okay, so sign. Listen, everyone. And now we can make from 10 steel. Yeah, definitely make one. Get there and make one prosthetic. Prosthesis. Help us survive, indeed. Well, this guy, 85% efficiency. So are you guys building it? Yep, they're building one of them. We are researching coal mine rationalization, which should improve coal mines, steam coal mines, and advanced coal mines will be another 10% more efficient. Okay. Let's build an automaton. Tomorrow we'll build an automaton then. Uh, uh, let's build another workshop, shall we? Because these guys will... Tech. Where is the workshop? Here we go. What is the perfect place for a workshop? This one is. While we stockpile a bit more materials, so that these guys, as soon as they're done with the automaton, they can go to the workshop. So let's see here. Prohibited. Haven't we built the uh, prosthesis? I think we built it. How, how are we supposed to employ it? Ooh, one idle worker. Uh, oh, what's that? An achievement. Once more onto the bridge, provide an amputee with a prosthesis. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so we just needed to wait a little bit for and the prosthesis would be attached. Uh, a little bit later, so that means this now can go back to full capacity. Tomorrow. Tomorrow that will go back to full capacity. Okay, let's speed up the game, uh, as there's nothing else we can do right now. Ooh, scouts are about to arrive somewhere. Alright, scouts have reached the Manchester Dreadnoughts. More steam cores, yes! That is what we need, my people. That is what we need. This machine is enormous, but less advanced than the one we were using. Okay. Let's 
explore unrepairable this dreadnought would have carried hundreds of people it must have belonged to the citizen of citizens of new manchester now it's broken beyond repair take resources nice three more steam cores let's go to the wrecked vehicle which could have some more steam cores those, let's gather those lovely, lovely steam cores. Alright, we have plenty of wood. Speed up the game a little bit, as there's nothing else to do. Oh, what's going on? We did have a new, a new tutorial for the feeding aid for the people of New Manchester. Won't survive the storm without help. To send them aid, you need to stockpile a certain amount of resources and construct some automatons first. The relief expedition can be sent from the beacon panel. Okay, good. Uh, we will do that as soon as we can. Alright, speed up the game a, a bit again. Okay, what do we have for today? Scouts have reached the wrecked vehicle. Uh, okay, so I was hoping for some more steam cores. Doesn't look like it, but resources are always nice. Hidden supplies. Whilst disassembling the wreck to salvage what we could find from it, we found a hidden cache of supplies. Take resources. Okay, and that that is it, my friend, right? That is it. So now return to the city. Return to the city, a hero. Uh, you have been invaluable to the survival of the arcs. Oh, and these guys will be exploring the last bit soon. And then we can actually disband them. Probably make another workshop out of them. Uh, how long until they come back? With four steam cores, one day. Very, very nice. Uh, let's build that automaton, shall we? Folks. What are we researching? Coal mining, rationalization, so that we have tons and tons of coal to spare. Alright. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go for resources now. Because uh, we do need to stockpile to help New Manchester. Um, steam wall drill, so advanced steelworks, definitely. Definitely advanced steelworks. And. Let's go, people. Hurry up with that automaton, as you will need to be researching, helping out our researchers next. Right. Oh, we almost have a thousand coal. Good. Probably we'll probably need another. Oh, we're we're stockpiling two k per day. Uh, let's create another one of those. All right. Let's get the automaton working. Let's go. Now you guys get out of there and help with the research. Let's see, scouts have reached the Lone Boulder, a distinct spot in the Frostland. We can use it as a waypoint for further exploration. New landmark, our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, what else is new? But we may be able to reach some of more promising locations from here. Abandoned sawmill and snow crawler. Carry on. Okay. 11 hours to arrive, 10 hours to arrive, so let's go for the abandoned sawmill first. We can see some kind of facility, perhaps a sawmill, it looks abandoned. Okay. These guys, 23 hours for them to get back. Another automaton is ready. Yeah, I know, we've sent, we've sent him to work in the mines, in the steam steel works. Now we're researching advanced steel works. We 
should probably get another one of these for coal. As I feel we're gonna have to send them, send coal over to them to get to everyone in New Manchester. We still have got six days, so I feel that we we have the time. Oh, and we we, we surpassed eight thousand coal. Great. All we need now is to disband all expeditions. That is fine. We will be able to do that. We still have time. Let's see how much for the uh, for the uh, no, no 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 large resource depot. Ooh, that consumes a lot. Maybe not then. Will we will we be able to finish uh, the advanced steelworks today? I'm not sure. Let's see. After we do that, what else can we need? What what else do we need? Uh, house redesign is not necessary for now. Uh, industrial hothouse, we have more than enough food. No need for that as well. We definitely need to up our our resources. Uh, engineer automatons. Mm, we could go for that. We could definitely go for that. Uh, but instead, I think we'll benefit more. Oh, generator efficiency. We haven't s researched that yet. Either that or just go for the automatic prototyping straight away. So, yeah, let's not go for the advanced heaters just yet because that will make us consume more coal. But let's definitely do the generator efficiency first. Alright, my lovely automatons, get to work. Gathering those resources, New Manchester is counting on us, and they must survive, as well as the seeds. But the seeds are doing fine. The seeds are doing fine. The seeds are doing fine. Well, time to get a swig. Alright, advanced steelworks. Let's go straight into the generator efficiency. And after the work shift is done, we're going to upgrade these two into advanced steelworks. But everyone is working right now. Oh, we do have one idle worker to spare. Eh, there's real, not really much that we need you to do. Uh, we probably should get another one of these large resource depots, but we'll see. What 600 wood. How many units are we, are we gathering per day of wood? 408, so that means a couple of days, one day if we don't spend any more wood, but we will spend uh, to upgrade these two. Oh, uh, can we upgrade this? Not yet. This is already the steam level, right? Uh, yep, already the steam wall drill for that. We will need number five. the automatons help with the work? I don't think so. Oh yeah, they do. Oh nice, the automatons upgrade this. Nice. Nice, I didn't know that. That is really, really cool. That is absolutely insanely cool. More, Four more ste steam cores soon. So, uh, we could we could gather get build a new automaton and get him gathering wood here. I don't know. Maybe not. Let's speed up the game a little bit. Okay, these have been upgraded into advanced steelworks. 
now we should be gathering steel like crazy. Let's see. Oh yeah, 530 units per day. That is absolutely insane. Ooh, scouts have reached the abandoned sawmill. Some wood. Indeed, it is a sawmill. It hasn't even been used in a very long time. Everything is covered in ice. Explore. Not much left. There was probably an outpost here years ago. Now there's nothing left of it but this frozen sawmill. Okay, take resources. A bit of wood. Uh, let's send them out to the snow carrier. And afterwards you can return home a, a hero, my friends. As you have done us a great service. You have done us a very great service. Alright, how many days? Five days and a half. A bit, a bit over five days and a half. Speed up the game a little bit as it doesn't seem like there's anything else that we can do. Right now. Okay, temperature is going to drop in three days. Okay, we definitely need to be aware of that. We definitely need... Uh, uh, what's the plan? We definitely need to plan for that. So... Uh, all of these guys are chilly, right? So all of them will need an upgrade, all of the uh, seedling arcs, which means uh, we will... these guys, we don't need anything for these guys but to turn on the heater. Um, for these guys we can either turn on the, uh, the steam hubs along with the heaters and they'll do fine, uh, or or we could research advanced heaters and they'll just be fine and they will be fine right yeah for sure for sure uh, all of this will help but none of it is needed for us to survive the cold so we probably should go for advanced heaters but not next first we'll go for the automatic prototyping the automatic so many automatons man I love watching this I don't know about you but I love watching them watching them work you have any patience so let's turn this off shall we because we don't have any patience uh, what happened why have we stopped? Because it's 5 a.m.? Weird. Ooh, and another level. Okay. We can definitely deal with the first level. Um, I'm not sure if we can deal with the second level. Let's see. Oh, we are doing tremendously fine on coal. We can definitely up that coal consumption. We can definitely up that. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's research more generator thingies. We'll need a generator power upgrade. Uh, so yeah, probably should prioritize the power upgrade and the advanced heaters. Especially because we don't have the extended shifts. Uh, we'll, we'll have to keep, keep on with regular shifts. For a few more minutes, for a few more days. Yep, that's definitely it. We're, stu we're still doing good, though. Uh, let's... Scouts have reached the snow crawler. Ooh, steam cores. We definitely could use those. Um, one of the snow crawlers that was lost on the journey north. Disassembling it will provide us with resources. Alright. Explore. Defeated by the weather. 
the snow crawler was separated from our expedition by the blizzard and ran out of fuel. Our people are still inside, frozen solid, we'll give them a proper burial. Uh, the crawler was built before the great winter, nobody predicted how bad the weather would get, it didn't stand a chance. All we can do now is dismantle it for resources. Oh, those poor, poor peoples, but three steam cores are awesome. We definitely need that. Nothing else to explore. Look at that. Alright. Nothing else to do but to send them back to our city. Heroes, you have been such a great service to our city. You definitely deserve all of the, um, I don't know, commendations. What can we do for them? We should throw them a party. Oh. Hey, mate. What difficulty is this? Um, this is the normal difficulty. Uh, Ryziko. Uh, 94 welcome to the stream by the way thank you so much for dropping by this is the regular difficulty the arcs uh, scenario on the regular difficulty uh, because if you'd go for the I'm not I can't remember what the um, what the higher difficulty was lo was on but it didn't uh, allow me to pause and I definitely need to pause the game to talk with the viewers from time to time. So yeah, uh, now we are doing the dismantle expeditions, which will, will be over in 22 hours. We still have five days for that, so that will be done uh, in time, in time for sure. And what else can we do? Uh, I want to stockpile some of these resources so that we can send over to New Manchester. Uh, one out of three. Five days to do that. One out of three, but we definitely need. Yeah, we definitely. Ah, man. I did not want to build another one of these large resource depots for coal, but I think we need it while we can, while we are not forced to use more coal. I think we might need it. Uh, biting my teeth on hard right now. Wish me luck. Well, good luck, my friend. I hope you can do it. Frostpunk is a great is a great game isn't it i really love it do you stream too my friend do you stream frostpunk too let's create um, a new save game the arcs nah i don't stream oh that's all right i'm glad you were able to join us for some frostpunk though um so yeah Unfortunately, uh, I will have to cut the stream here, as that's all the time I have to play right now. If you were enjoying this stream, please consider following this channel, as it helps out a lot. Also, if you want to support this channel, you can do so by donating as low as $1. Ryzico94, thank you so much for the follow, you rock! Uh, as I was saying, you can donate as low as $1 by clicking the donate button below or you can subscribe to this channel. Remember that you can subscribe for absolutely free uh, if you have uh, Prime Gaming, formerly known as Twitch Gaming, and you can get uh, Twitch Prime or Prime Gaming for free if you have a Prime Video account. You can link them both uh, and you'll get uh, Prime Gaming for free. So yeah, uh, we are going to cut it there. As that's all the time I have to play right now. Thank you everyone for watching. We will be back for more, for more Pro Frostpunk next week. Uh, next Friday, I believe. Uh, next Tuesday, we will be back with uh, Fighter Z School, where a mysterious voice teaches me how to play Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Uh, so look forward to that. I will see you all next time. And until next time, game on!